Hello, and welcome to Offensive Gaming's first video. In today's video, I want to talk about two fight stick mods, the Kowal Oversized Actuator and the Button Silencers uh, for Sanwa 30mm buttons. Uh, to start with, this is the stock oh shit, Sanwa Actuator. Um, I already have the Kowal installed in my fight stick there. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Um, my hand is going to go in front of the uh, camera quite a bit because uh, I have a pretty ghetto setup right now. Um, the only thing you really need for this is a large flathead screwdriver. Uh, you can use a small to get the clip off as I did before. You can see it's got paint missing. But I had a really hard time getting it back on and I got it off pretty easily once I switched to the large one. Um, Okay, so there's an E-clip on it. You're going to want to finagle it. It's probably going to be a little bit harder since I don't have a uh, grip on the front of the stick. You know what? Let me, let me reorganize myself. Sorry, guys. So what you want to do, or <laughs> what you want to do, what you're going to want to do Additional tools you might want include a magnet in case uh, you don't have a case that has an easy access open and your uh, e-clip falls somewhere random so you can scoop back up. Um, I will compare the actuator sizes once we get this off. So what you want to do is take your screwdriver, actually I'm going to use the small one because it fits in here easier. Put it in one of the grooves. I hope that doesn't fall off with the force I'm using. And you're just going to want to pop your E-clip off. And you want to be careful so that you don't have happen to you what just happened to me where your spring fell in. Alright, here's a comparison between the two actuators. We have the Kowal Oversized Actuator on the left and the Stock Sanwa Actuator on the right. And then that's the E-Clip and the spring, but those aren't really important. Um, I finally got my spring back after that last, you know, fucking... Yeah, whatever. Um, I popped my gate off so you guys can see a little... I popped my gate off so you guys can see a little bit better. Um, what we would do is the spring would go, you know, back on and then you push the actuator down but we'll get to that in a second alright I put my gate back on to help with the wobbling a bit we're gonna install the coal oversized actuator now you're just gonna push your spring down push the actuator down to reveal the grooves where the e-clip was originally attached Start it by hand, and then take your large screwdriver, or flathead screwdriver, excuse me, and finish it by pressing it in until it snaps into place. Okay, um, and that's it. You can see the Kowal. Oversized actuator is now installed, it's working. Uh, your throw distance has been cut down, you know, you removed the smaller old Sanwa. Uh, now we're going to move on to the second mod that uh, is more cosmetic, so, well, not really cosmetic, it's still functional. But um, I have god kids, I have uh, roommates, and I stay up to degenerate hours playing fighting games. So a lot of the times, you know, they just hear the click from combos. I bought button silencers from Focus Attack, although I should uh, point out that they're really more button dampeners because they don't make the button silent, they just dampen the sound. But it's a pretty good amount. Um, so first I'm going to show you the difference in button sounds and I'm going to close my fight stick to do that. Uh, one second. Now I'm going to show you the difference between buttons with the dampeners
versus buttons without them because I didn't do dampeners on my side button. It doesn't change the, f oh, well it does change the feel of the buttons. It doesn't change the actuation of the buttons. They don't become any more or less sensitive. Um, it's really just a personal preference thing. I have roommates, you know, they can hear me late at night when I'm getting into the combo grind. Um, it's, it's way less quieter now. It does change the feel of the buttons a bit, but it really only took me about 10 or 15 minutes to become used to them, and now I actually kind of say that I must prefer them. Uh, Sanwa makes silent buttons, but they're about 245 a piece on Focus Attack without shipping, and these 8-pack silencers are like a dollar eighty-seven, eighty-six, something like that. So it's uh, definitely worth it. Um, I'm going to go inside and uh, pop open one button and just show you how to install them on a button, and uh, that'll be it. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to install the buttons. Um, there's a way to do this without taking any of your wires and buttons off, but I'm just going to take off one button and show you because uh, it, it'll be easier that way. You're normally supposed to do this with needle nose pliers, but like I said, I changed these buttons out recently. So I already know. Okay. Sorry, I gotta look at this here. What you're gonna see, it's the wrong one. These are the two tabs that you would use to pull the button out and remove it from the hole. On the other side, let me focus on that. There are two tabs that you can press in, and I would use a small uh, flathead. Press those in. Sorry, I'll do this in camera view. Press those in, and you get the top off of the button. Okay? And then... And sorry, I'm going to have to go off screen a little bit because I already have the washers installed. I'll try to stay on screen. Then, you would install your washer. These are them, by the way. You know, they're foam. Glossy side down because the foam side is what's going to be dampening. And you'll see how to lay it across because it will only fit one direction. Line it up with the two holes, which are in the same place where you popped your top off before. Nothing really to see inside there. Put the top of your button back on. You know, press it in. And now, we have a much quieter button in comparison. That is how you do the button install. You would then, you know, just pop the button back in the hole, reattach your wires, and you are done. Um, I'm going to do a thoughts and reviews. Uh, i got to watch over this footage, see if there's anything I left out. But um, I would really like to thank you guys uh, for watching our videos, and uh, welcome to the channel.